Guys, Cryptic here. Welcome to our first look at the GNA mod. This mod is a heavily extensive mod compared to vanilla seven days to die. Lots of things have changed. It looks like we spawned in the snow biome right outside of the pine forest. As you can see, our, U, our UI is way different. I like it. It's super clean. Uh, the wordings down in the corner telling me to get my ass warmed up is pretty pretty nice guys this mod has been heavily modified i don't even remember all the mods that they put in the description i'll put this mod description in the description below you can take a look at it feel free to get this mod to play it wow i'm just trying to grasp the land it looks pretty amazing it looks like your hot bar is on the side and not necessarily uh, on the bottom. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft and we could change the hotbar settings. So, okay. Wow. Wow. Lots of changes here as well. Looks like we have our backpack, of course, which is super big. It's nice, nice. We have some food already, rations, health, first aid, a flint. Found in limestone, okay, it's sharp edges, broken, can be used to create axes, whatever, stuff like that. So let's see, let's click on recipes, primitive axe, we need wood sticks, plant fiber, and some cloth. So quite a bit of stuff to make just a piece of shit axe. All right, this is a pretty, uh, I've never seen this mod on the old uh, boob tube, guys, so I'm not sure, you know, what to expect from it. I've never played it. I just jumped into this game and started playing to see what the bird nest gives us. Okay, where do we find out? Okay, right here. Three feathers. All right, and that's our hot bar up there. Looks like we could just put stuff into there if we wanted to. Rocks are pretty cool. Looks like it's called Flint Basalt Rock. Not sure what that does for us. Can we get any of it? Apparently, your torch doesn't beat the shit out of the rock. All right, well, what do we do? Where do we go? There's no quest objectives. The only thing that stood out for me in this mod when I was reading the description is random zombies, meaning height, size, uh, HP, their uh, specific skill set to kill you, and that's about it. So we are in the middle of freaking nowhere. We need to find ourselves an axe somehow, some way. I don't have anything. There's no starting, nothing. A note you got from someone friendly with directions to a nearby house or building. You can clear to claim as your hideout. Let's read this. These are the instructions on how to find a nearby building. You will not likely find me there, but if you can clear out the zombies, you can use it as your shelter at night. You will want to stay indoors at night, especially close to cities. The undead are restless at night and appear in greater numbers. Dope. That's sick. And I gotta run my fat ass 102 kilometers away. I really need to find myself some way to get an axe. So I can start chopping up some of this stuff. What do we got here? Just kind of food or anything? Just a bush? Trying to get used to this UI. I don't see. Oh, I see it down below, like it's backwards or something weird. I don't know. Not sure. This is the core mod. There's two mods: there's stable and there's core. And when I was reading the description, the modder said you had to download both both mods in order for this game to work. So that's what I did. And I just figure, well, shit, we'll just start with the one that says stable because stable means it's good, right? At least that's what we've been taught in the world, uh, you know, seven days to die world anyways. Stable's a good thing. So let's see, what do we got here? I can lock pick. I don't need that right now. Actually, where'd it go? Let's see. Let's pick it up. Open up our thing as usual with the tab. Click on it. Let's scrap it. Okay, we got seven iron, we got sticks, cotton, recipes, 
so we can make some cloth if we can find plant fibers which we got tons of plant fibers so let's go ahead and punch this is can we hit e no not on this mod either some mods you can hit e which is super nice so let's go and collect all this plant man he can punch super fast can bruce lee should be a ninja what do we got some plastic what we do know after the last uh testing on humans everybody has some plastic in their blood now right don't know if you heard that yet so a little bit of plastic in their bird nest isn't unheard of what we need to find is more cotton gotta go pick us some cotton all right let's see if we can make our cloth here we go let's see cloth how do you do this one and oh it needs what okay Cloth scraps make. Okay, make them all. All right, I got to learn how to use this UI, guys. It's gonna take a minute. All right, now we got our flint, the recipes, the primitive axe. We have everything we need. Let's go ahead and make it, and we'll favorite that as well, just temporarily. And it takes nine seconds for me to make an axe. That's pretty good, because in real life, it'd probably take me all day. Okay, guys, once we get our axe, we got to try to make ourselves a club. Okay. Damn, that is like the slowest countdown I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. Punching limestone just for the practice. I think the timer stops when you open or you close your bag. I swear to God, that took forever. All right. Put it in number one. All right. There it is. All right. Oh, my God. So, so slow. And I'm not sure why it's on the bottom kind of weird like that. It's interesting to see that. Look, It looks like it's kind of messed up. Well, nonetheless... I'm just going to pound some wood, guys. It's already 9 o'clock. Let's see if we get to sandstone. What do we get from the sandstone rock? Oh, sandstone and some XP. All right. What's in this? Just wood. Wood and two extra logs. Okay, fair enough. Now, how do we make a club? Let's see. Let's find our club because we got to bash some zombie heads. Primitive club is wood logs. Oh, and we need more freaking um, cloth. Well, that sucks. Well, maybe we'll find some in here. Must have been from a jet that blew up. Uh, we got glue. All right. That's it. And some plastic. Oh, man. Looks like we got to go to the snow biome. Man, what a kick in the nuts that is. They must really fucking hate me. It's going to be bad going to the snow biome. Okay. It's thinking. It's thinking. Got some ammo, oil, and paint. Not sure what the hell I'm gonna do with some freaking paint. Go ahead and try to get all this. Got some eggs. An empty jar. Right now I'm just really trying to find cotton so we can go and make ourselves some more uh, cloth. Can we make any clothes with the plant fibers? Let's see, recipes. Look, palisade blocks, nice. Gloves. Come on. Okay, apparently you can only make one set of gloves. Because we need cloth. With with the uh, plant fibers. Well, that sucks. If I've already known that, I should have probably paid attention. But I didn't, but we're going to wait. Let's go ahead and tear this down. See what this gives us. 
Looks like it just gives us some wood as well. Guess we gotta loot all this junk. Got a sandwich. Food poisoning and some empty shells. What's this? Potato plant. Dude, I'm just gonna punch this shit because it's so much faster. Oh, okay, I hear a zombie and I at least, I don't even have a club yet. Oh, it's just a big mama. It's a big mama for now. Actually, I do have a club. I have my, um, I have my torch, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm so strong I can bust rocks with my fist, yo. What's this? Copper pennies and some cloth? Alright, well that's fair. Wish we could get some cloth when we uh, loot the rocks. They're gonna just give us cloth out of a freaking bird nest. Look at that big old rock. You're a cucumbered. Alright, well let's get... Whoa! Oh shit! You see that? Oh, God damn, that guy got so close to me. Dude, this is a runner. And I can't get to my torch. Where you at? There he is. There he is. Zombie Eugene. Oh man, come on. Oh shit, we're gonna die already. We're already gonna eat it, guys. And we're not even eleven minutes into this into the episode. I got a broken sprained leg. Oh shit. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're already dead. We're already dead. We're done. Got six hit points. My naked ass got stomped. Damn. Alright. Well, this mod's gonna be a little bit tougher than I imagined it to be. The GNA mod's no joke. Well, let's see what happens when you respawn. Do I lose all my sh stuff? No, because I don't drop anything. So, egg spoiled. We get rid of that. We need to make ourselves a club in a bad way. We need, damn, a lot of stuff. That's what we need. Recipes, cloth. Now we're gonna sit here, not move. We're gonna hide like a couple little bitches, because that was a mess. All right, now we gotta make our club. Hopefully, we can make it. Here we go. It's gonna, it's gonna take forever. While we do that, we'll pound on some rocks. Need to find some clothes too. That's what we need to find as well. Man, we already died. That was pretty fast. 10 minutes in, dead. Not even by noon. We're already dead. Look at the countdown. Seven seconds. Okay, we're gonna whack this. We know it's been about three seconds now. See? Timer stops if you don't keep the menu open. Okay, we stopped it at two. It should be done any second now. Timer stops if you leave the menu closed. So guys, when you're crafting, you gotta leave the menu open. That's really dumb. Not sure if that's just a glitch in the game. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure the creators wouldn't make you Stand around with your freaking menu system open while you craft something. I mean, how that's kind of dumb. Okay, so looking at the uh, sidebars, you can see the dark shadow and the light. Apparently, that's how broken your shit is. So that kind of tells you um, an indication of how much repair needs to be done to your weapon. 
I guess. We need to be careful here. Oh, we can hit E to pick up the rocks. But not E to do anything else like with the grass. Okay, fair enough. Maybe my death causes zombies to unspawn. Let's see what it takes to make a bow. Okay, guys, I don't know this mod, so I'm learning along with you. Okay, we can't make it because what we're missing two of the cloth. Okay, so we need to find two. Two more uh, cotton. There's one there. Try not to get killed and ganked by some zombies. Or we need to find bird nests. <clears throat> Looks like we're hungry as well. That's no surprise there. Let's go and see if we can use this. 5% chance to die of diarrhea. Okay, the bow. All right, we need to make cloth. Can we click on that and make it? No. We got to click here. Recipes, cloth, max, make. Okay, let's see. We turn the menu off. Will it still continue to make the stuff? No, it does not. Okay, fair. That's is what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it. Let's go and make ourselves a bow, and we'll make some arrows. What does it take to make arrows? Quiver stone, quiver of wooden arrows. All right, let's make that and see what that gives us. Arrows and bolts are crafted in sets of 10. Crafting them 10 at a time can save you time and resources, but you need to have all the resources at hand. Okay. All right. So, we have our bow. No. No. There. And this open there's 10 I wonder if you can stack that let's see if we can stack it we have to sit here like a freaking gazelle around a bunch of lions just waiting to get eaten all right here we go let's open it yes it does stack Okay, R, we got these. Okay, now what do we do about points? Let's see, that's inventory, this is character. There's no inventory lock bar on this mod. Skills, we have two points available. So what points do we want to do? We really always do sex rex. And I think, I don't know man, do we do cardio? I think so. I think I'll be running a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are like, oh, Jesus. All right, we got to get more of this cotton so we can make ourselves uh, some clothes because right now we're running around butt-ass naked. But what time is it? It's 1.30. We have five kilometers. Holy shit. It even made us further away than before. All right, well, let's, let's do this. Let's, um, I know, dude, I'm sorry, man. Do we equip this? Let's see if that helps us a little bit. For now, let's go ahead and keep our fists out so we can just punch and pick up everything. I don't really care about goldenrod at the moment. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some honey. I guess we get infected. I don't see any honey. We are cucumbered by two, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll get rid of this. We don't need that at the moment. We don't need the goldenrod. We got some bullets and some pennies. 
We're fucking flush with cash, boys. Flush with cash. Okay, we got a fucking long ass run. Holy crap, dude. Right, how do you turn the map on? M? That's. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think we'll just run and only grab cotton so we can make clothes. This is going to be the Olympics fucking episode, isn't it? Olympics and picking cotton. First look at GNA mod. Running 20 kilometers to find your home. So guys, I tried this mod because I haven't seen very many people play. I actually have never even seen anybody on the old YouTube playing this mod. So like I said, I came in here blind as hell. I don't know what's happening or what to do other than try not to die. Big boy. So some zombies will run. Some zombies will jog. Right now I'm out of stamina. Don't want to get too cucumbered. But I want to pick stuff up while I can. So, because I know I need to make clothes. Eventually I'm going to freeze to death. Feral Sense is on, of course. This is a no loot respawn. Horde Knight times 64. Oh shit! God damn it. We're gonna die again, guys. We're gonna die again. I can't get my bed out here. Death number two. God damn, let's hope we're closer then. Let's hope we're closer to home, right? I don't wanna run five kilometers through the freaking snow biome. Damn. That's okay. It's okay. We died. Oh, now I'm in the desert on a horse with no name. Oh my word. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. We are not going to run six kilometers to go find a home. Not today. I, I'm not going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that quest off. We're not even going to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it off. I don't want to look at it. We're in the desert. Fine. It's a little bit easier than the snow biome. As soon as we can get better, if we get even more equipped or whatnot, we'll run over there. But... That's ridiculous, having to run all the way there. Okay, let's see what we can do to make frames. Makeshift, firearm. Okay, how about blocks? Here we go, blocks. Blueprint. Paper and pen. Why you, what? What? Can we make one of these? Oops. All right, let's go ahead and see what in the hell that gives us. Can we turn it into a square? No, it's a wall. All right, well. Guys, this is tough. I'm going to be honest. This is some hard stuff. If we can't even build ourselves freaking blocks to stand on without a blueprint. Wow. Block. Blueprint. In order to make a blueprint, we need a pencil and a paper. So how am I supposed to get... Okay. Wow. Well, 
apparently we're not going to get anywhere because you can't even get on a building without blocks. So, um, okay, well, it's going to be interesting. Gonna have to be careful that we don't attract a whole bunch of zombies, being it is. Uh, uh, God damn it. I can't even think now. Feral sense is on. I wonder if we can. Now we can't jump up that high. Let's see here. Let's do this really quick. All right, guys. Well, we did that. Okay, we got that part done. I guess this is where we'll make a home on top of the roof. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can clear out the zombies. Right, a little bit of lag. We got stairs here. So they can come up. Oh, man. Kidding me? Okay, that's taken care of. All right, well, we woke up the neighborhood. Oh my God, my arrows don't even want to shoot, yo. Oh, word. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, shit. Now, that's not good. No bueno there. Now, this is just mistake after mistake here. So, hopefully, we can get out of this place. Ah, oh, come on. Run, baby. Run. Oh, I just hit a freaking... A freaking mine. That was me blowing shit up. Holy shit. I should have played this mod prior to making a video of it. Definitely uh, should have done that, but I didn't. <laughs> God, you gotta watch out for landmines. I'm surprised I didn't die from those things. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of some stuff. Bam. I think they can come up here. Palisades. Make. Oh yeah, I forgot you gotta leave this open for it to make it. Okay, well that doesn't upgrade it. That actually destroys it. Let's see. Um, well, let's see what other shenanigans we can get into here. Um, I know they can get up the ladder. Is this open? Oh my god, a dog! <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, well, I didn't put a bedroll down because I'm an idiot. Now where am I going to be? Back in the snow biome.
All right, let's turn the quest back on and see if we can see how yeah, five kilometers. Okay, I might have to restart this gameplay. F1, creative menu. Let's go ahead and make a bike. Let's see, oops. Motorcycle. We're just going to cheese this really quick, guys. And then let's go ahead and make a... Let's go find an AK. AK, AK. And what does it take? I don't even know which one it was. I think it's this one here. What the fuck? Pristine bullet. Oh, shit. Okay, well, obviously that didn't work out, right? Let's go ahead. Come here. I can't even figure out my old, my life regularly. Okay, here we go. Pristine. Is this it? We just take it, right? 500 of them. Okay, let's go ahead and put a motorcycle here. And let's refuel this guy. Open. Let's see here. All right, guys, we're going to ride our asses the five kilometers and let's see what this quest looks like. Man, tough mod. Very tough mod, especially when you get into like the wasteland, which I wasn't thankfully, but the winter biome or, you know, you got zombies that run, tough time. I don't mind dying, That's, but it's not, you know, to be so far from your quest objective, that's just a long ways. And then to not be able to build blocks unless you get the blueprints. I mean, look how long it's take in in order to craft stuff we need to leave the crafting menu open well there's a different zombie I want to see what zombie models are in here I'm not even sure if I'm gonna post this video 
I mean, obviously, if you're watching it, you know I posted it, and you can just laugh at the expense and then talk shit because I went into creative mode. But I don't know, I'm not trying to make a series out of this. I just want to see what zombie models are in here, if any, and kind of check out the game and the mechanics. I don't use the crafting menu in any of the gameplays that I do. At least not on videos. So, Indo. Look how big, big. Oh, and she still took damage. Oh, she made me bleed? She was radioactive or something? Interesting. Definitely ain't busting through the rocks like you do on uh, vanilla. Whoa. Come on, drive, dude. We ain't had that many beers yet today. This mod is pretty cool so far. I mean, it's pretty, a lot of work these mods put into creating a game that's so detailed like this. It's, um, you know, I know the base is from Fun Pimps, but in order to come in here and change everything, like blueprints, and in order to make a blueprint, you need a pen and a paper. And I should, you know, props of these guys taking all the time. And then they give the game to us for free. I mean, that's just amazing. It's amazing that, you know, we get what we get from these mods. Yeah, imagine running my fat ass five kilometers. Fuck that, dude. Screw that. I mean, jeez. That's just a long, long run. It'd be like three days of running. <laughs> I guess you can make a series out of it if you could actually survive, but in order to make anything, you gotta make a whole bunch of stuff to make a little bit of stuff. I guess it's like real life. You gotta make a bunch of money to make a little bit. So it looks like maybe our the home we're doing is actually in the pine forest. But we had to run through the snow biome to get there. This is just the first look. If I want to play this, I'm not sure. I don't want to have to think so hard to play a game also. I don't want to like have to collect so much stuff to make so little th things. But if I want to play, I'll probably, um, I don't know. I don't know yet. I mean, shit, I died three times in, you know, ten minutes. And in order to make a block, you have to do a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't know if I want to do it or not. Wow, look at all those cars that we can scrap. Wow. That's awesome. I'd love to come scrap all these cars. Now this is what an apocalypse would really, really look like. Dude, are we in Wasteland? <laughs> There's cops already and... Wow. Wow, we ain't running through all that naked, that's for damn sure. Is this the hardest mod I've played so far? I would say the GNA mod is the hardest mod by far that I've seen.
That sounds like wasteland. Let's see if we can get up this hill. So many broken cars. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without, oh man. Up this road. Up the road we go, 200 kilometers. It's what, nine o'clock? It's gonna be nightfall in less than an hour. Graphics are amazing, of course. For seven days to die, they've really upped their game on the graphics for damn sure. Okay, well, I'm just naked, so let's start it. Let's go and eat. I hear a dog. Um... Weapon does not have a functional grip part. What the hell? A functional grip part? Kidding me? A functional magazine part? That's some bullshit. I got it. I took it right out of the freaking the map or the fuck. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I don't want to die again. Oh well. I don't know what to do. Let's go ahead and try to. Um, Got a bunch of zombies chasing me now. I would say let's find a rock we could jump on, but if we can jump on it, they can jump on it. And uh, my creative mode is off. Okay. God damn it. Okay, let's get on the bike and let's get the hell out of here. This is embarrassing. We'll leave the bedroll up there though. And we will just try to get our asses out of here. Away from these people, try to figure out our bike. Freaking wolf, go fight those zombies, dude. Leave me alone. It's 10 o'clock, so they're running, of course. Tab, creative mode. Oh, Jesus. Now we got a dog after us. This reminds me of the first time I ever played Seven Days to Die, and I was scared shitless. Like, I didn't know what the hell to do, and I can't keep my composure. Frame does not have a frame part. He's a crawler. Damn. Am I out of gas? Oh no, the volume just died. Kudos to these mod creators. They made a badass, hard-ass mod. 
All I want to do is try to survive the night. What's wrong with it? Grip. Man, you gotta build the goddamn thing too, don't you? Where is the grip? Okay, what's wrong with it now? Bullets, bullets. Right now, I seem to be safe a little bit, but that could obviously end very quickly like is that the ammo or what the fuck so this is propellant okay so that's when you open the ammo you take it apart functional magazine part Wow, guys, we have to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to get a gun to work. I don't know what else to do to make this gun work. You were thinking creative mode, it would just work. What's it missing? Let's put AK here. We got the frame. Magazine, magazine. I don't see what else we need. AK components. Alright, what is it? Broken firearms. Wow. Just wowed. So much stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Let's see what we got now. It works. Alright. We gotta go back here towards our bedroll. Let's just do this. Damn, it's a super hard mod. Okay. So it looks like you gotta have a whole bunch of components in your AK just to get it to work. What's this? What do we got here? So there's a crawling big mama on four legs. That's another variant. We got a lot of zombie variants in this mod. The wolf fighting the zombies. I'm surprised I didn't lose my quest. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh shit. Now I got spit on. I'm about to die. And I'm in freaking 
creative. What the hell? Wow. Okay. All right, we'll spawn on the bed. Let's go ahead and, um, lots of zombies, lots of shit here. All right. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. This GNA mod is super freaking hard. I'm going to practice it before we make another video. First look, if you want a mod that's really hard to play, you'll do the GNA mod. Um, my settings aren't even that high. It's only on, like, Nomad. So, hi, buddy. Look, look at all the zombies already here. All right, guys. I've had enough of a beating. I feel like in the world of Warcraft getting ganked when I'm a level 10 and like 80s are next to me. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. At my expense, have a good one.